Hey, welcome to Craft Corner. I'm Kelly and we're going to be doing some fun things today with toilet paper rolls. So, of course, you're going to need some toilet paper rolls, aluminum foil, duct tape, foam stickers or any kind of stickers that you got, and maybe some adhesive uh, just in case your foam stickers or the foam that you're using doesn't have a sticky back. Anyhow, I'm going to get my things together and then we'll start. Okay, remember, you're not going to see my face during this because I want you to be able to see what we're doing here. I'm super excited as today we're going to make superhero cuffs. I have two for you. I have this one here in the silver duct tape and I did one in red too. I thought the red was so fun. Anyhow, we have that and later we're going to make our own little robots. I have a couple that I've done. I'm super excited. Love them all. So I will, we'll get started now. All right. So for our superhero cuffs, I just want to say you can use any kind of sticker. Like I have a whole bunch of stickers here. I have this. I also, I went over to town and when I got to town, I could not find what I was looking for. I wanted some like stars, maybe some um, circles. And on this one here, I just used like some long strips. So because I couldn't find what I was looking for, I found these. And it's just like foam sheets of paper, like so, see, and sticky on the back. Foam sheets of paper that I just cut I cut out a whole bunch of stuff. I cut out some stars. I cut out some long strips of it. I cut out some circles. So it was all pretty easy. Even though I couldn't find what I was looking for, I could be creative and make it. So I'll show you how I made the little stars. I actually had like a little star cut out from, I think this, I used this when I decorated last year for prom in my window. So I had cut out a whole bunch of stars in good old, you know, collegiate uh, blue. So all I did was I took this star, I put it on the back of a piece of foam, which I can't find the right piece here now. Okay, here we are. So I put it on the back piece of the foam like this. And then I just traced it out. I'll show you now in a second. Yeah, and then I just traced it out like so. See, I traced it out and then I just cut it out with my scissors. Super easy. So I just did a little snip snip and you might need some help with this. And if you do, ask a parent to help you out or a friend or your grandma if she's around. Whoever's taking care of you, I am sure they would be able to help you out. No problem with this part. So, see, we have a very fun star. All right, so now you know how I got all these fun foam stickers. Let's try our superhero cup. So you take a toilet paper roll and you take some duct tape. Now, you kind of just take the duct tape and I did it a little bit over each end. And duct tape is super easy. You don't have to use scissors and get all that go on your scissors, which is great. So you just go like this, like that, let's see, yeah, okay, and I think it's probably going to take three pieces, okay, you can overlap it a bit if you want, there we go, all right, now, all right, oops, <laughs> oh my, okay, so, here we go. Yeah. Once you get it all in there and all in there tight, see? Perfect. You can smooth it out a bit if you want. I think it looks pretty good. Then you just take your scissors and cut a straight line. Like so. So you can see that it will fit, right? Oh, fancy. All right. So. Now you just have to choose what you want to decorate it with. So I am gonna choose pink today because I'm in a pink cotton mood, just saying. So, and I'm gonna do 
a, a couple circles, I think. And do some circles. Circle, another circle, and maybe a purple star in between it all, if it fits. Oh, I gotta move this one up just a smidge. All right, so here we go. All right, and see, you just remove the stickiness off. If you didn't have sticky foam glitter paper or whatever, no stick, you used something out of paper, you could just use your adhesive here. No problem. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah, it's starting to come together. Now, let's see. I think I'm going to put some blue on here. So maybe some blue strips of some kind. So all I did then was I just took it and made sure that it went right to the end. See? All right. Let's see now. You can tuck it around. See? Tuck it around a little bit. Yeah. All right. And let's do the same with this piece. Yeah. Cut it a little snip. No problem here. All right, now, you might hear my phone going off. I think that is my coworkers trying to talk about something. So here we go, look at that. I have one made, like I said, and you can do anything. Like you can put more bobbles on this. I've got some like little round glittery things here. And put those on there like oh my gosh and they're falling everywhere see we can just throw those on there like this if we want this is your craft oh shoot this is your craft so you can do anything you want with it like i said yesterday i did this one in the red duct tape and I'm sure there's so many different colors of duct tape. There might be white duct tape, I think, and, and black and everything. So whatever color duct tape you want to do it with. This one here is almost my favorite. It kind of reminds me of like Wonder Woman or something. <laughs> Anyhow, so as you can see, there's so much you can do with these. So simple. Like just open up your imagination and let it run wild. All right, now. Let's get to, I had so much fun making these robots yesterday. I actually made three. So here's one, here's two, whoopsie, and here's three. So I took all of this, like pretty much from stuff that I had around the house. The toilet paper rolls, obviously. This guy here has a K-cup, uh, you know, what you drink uh, out of your Keurig. I just emptied out the stuff and and put it in the garbage and then cleaned out the K-cup and put it on his head. Some pipe cleaners, lots of stickers. This guy here, this is like the top of an egg carton. I don't know if you can really see him very well. Obviously pipe cleaner arms. A lot of my foam stickers. There you go, there's this guy. And of course, then there's this one that I used uh, a few different things. I'm going to make one like this for us today. I don't know if you can see him overly well. There we go. Okay, so all you have to do is you have to take your toilet paper roll and take some aluminum foil. So when you hollow the aluminum foil, just hollow it enough that you make sure that you're, you're going to be able to cover, obviously, your toilet paper roll. You probably won't need like anything this big. I would kind of cut this in half. This craft is a little bit noisier, just saying. Okay, so we have our toilet paper rolls. We have our foil. So you just wrap your toilet paper with the foil and then just kind of stick the toilet paper and the ends there. Okay? Yep. Stick it. It doesn't matter if it's not perfectly tight around it, because it doesn't matter. Because the robots look cute no matter what. Just saying. Okay, so here we go. Here is this robot. So what I did then, I took um, some foam stickers. 
for their eyes. Now, I have a whole bunch of different ones here. These came in a little pack that I bought, and they're all different shapes and sizes. I like the star ones, so I'm going to use the stars in this little package to put some eyes on. Okay, there's one. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this super well while I'm doing it, just because the foil, I think, is kind of... Uh, it goes right off of it almost. Okay, this is two. So now he has two eyes. All right. I need to kind of look to see what I did before. Now this one here, I kind of painted the mouth on. Can you see? I painted the mouth on. But after I painted one on, I found that I could just use a little strip of, of uh, foam. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to make his mouth blue. Okay, so I just cut a little... I think his mouth is not really big. And I'm just gonna take this off of here. All right. And this is mouth. I don't know if robots can smile. Maybe your robot can smile. I'm not sure, but mine has a, a, a like a, just a tight lined face. <laughs> all right, so what's next? Oh yeah, you know robots have lots of buttons and all kinds of things. Now I found these at the store. And I love them. So I am going to use one of these as the button, you know, the stop go button, say, on my robot. All right, here we are. See, there's a button and there's lots of little buttons around it. So fun. Okay, so next, what you need to do is take some pipe cleaners. I got a whole bunch. I'm not quite sure. I think I'm going to use purple ones this time. All right. Or maybe orange ones. Yeah, orange ones. Orange to match his eyes. <laughs> okay, here we go. So what I did for the arms was I took the pipe cleaner and I just cut it in half. Because really, um, his arms don't need to be that long. Now this is what his arms look like when they're the full pipe cleaner. And this is kind of the shorter pipe cleaner. So all I did then was I took a pan or a pencil and I just left a little bit on the end and then I wrapped it around wrapped it around like so see super easy wrap it around and then I'm gonna take my pen now and I'm gonna try to make a little hole you might have something sharper there we go I heard it okay there we go all right you just pop a little hole in there and then you pop in there. See? Easy. All right, let's do that on the other side. Kind of, you don't have to do them like so that they match or that they're on the same side. You can do whatever you want, really. Again, be creative as you want. I love being creative. So much fun. All right, so now I'm just going to stick that arm right in there. Okay, so now my robot has some arms. Now, let's see, what did I do? Oh yeah, I kind of forgot these. So I'm just gonna take these off of this guy. <laughs> I left them over there and I won't go out to get them. So these are just like pretend wheels, like, you know, so that the robot can get on the move. So all I did with these was, this is actually just the top of like a, a, a Pepsi bo a bottle or a ginger ale bottle or any kind of bottle that has a top on it, uh, you can use that. I just put a little bit of, this is double-sided adhesive. When you're crafting, this could be your best friend. Just saying, Just it's just the way it is. Okay, here we go. So, now we got little wheels. Too cute. So, what I did after was, I was like, oh, I don't like that as he has no head. So I took that extra piece of, paper and I just kind of balled it up a little bit and put it in there. See? Now it looks like you got a spiky head. <laughs> or, like I said, if you want it, you could use an egg carton. You just cut out one of the, just cut out one of like the little things that the eggs fit into, like so. See? And you just cut it out so that all of that stuff is not like really square anymore. It's more circle. It's kind of, whoopsie, kind of like this. 
And then you just take a piece of aluminum foil. I definitely don't need a big piece for this. So you just take a piece of aluminum foil and you just wrap it around the egg carton. Like this. And then you got like a helmet. <laughs> and you can like put bobbles on that if you want. So like you can put a big orange thing on the front, orange circle, like, let's see, let's put an orange circle on there. You put an orange circle on his head. You could, if you want, to like turn it around and then maybe, I don't know, let's put a star on there. Let's put a star on this side. So we'll put a star over here on that side. Like that, and then you got a star on his head. Like I said, whatever you want to do, totally up to you. So much fun. I hope you enjoyed doing these crafts as much as I did. I probably enjoyed it a little too much, just saying. <laughs> I've had a great time. I hope you are finding things to do at home, and I think you're back to school now, some of the kids are back to school, so I hope you're finding things to do when you come home. You don't want to play outside, but if you want to play outside, go and enjoy the day. It is a gorgeous day today, so not like yesterday when we had that stormy, stormy weather. Anyhow, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had tons of fun. I know I have.